Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, just starting with ADA here um, because we have reached target and we've seen a strong reaction that is taking us to the downside here again. I mean, the uptrend, I guess, isn't broken yet. We can take a look at that, but we've reached the target perfectly. Yeah, nearly with the, well, with the accuracy of uh, 0.01 cent, um, I think, yeah. Um, anyway, what was the target? So target, as you can see, the target box there started um, at 54.6, I believe. And what we did to figure out the target for this wave three in white yeah, was to figure out here where the 61.8% FIB level was. And probably didn't do it very accurately here now. Just double check that. So yeah, 54.5 was the first target, the 1.618 FIP extension, also usually the most likely target for a wave three. Uh, if it goes higher, then better, more bullish. Um, and the altcoins, in fact, normally go a bit, well, they not normally go higher, but they often do that um, in a bull run. Now, okay, we've reached the 1.618, which is fine um, at 54.5 uh, 54 cents. As I already indicated in the previous video, we saw a strong reaction to it and we're now bouncing down, we're coming down. Now there's two possibilities here. Which of these is going to play out? I don't know. So we need to talk about that. Um, there's a few things here that we need to consider. So I mentioned in the previous video that there are a couple of ways how all of this down here can be counted. Yeah. This here is my preferred way of counting it. Yeah? Remember, remember at 46 cents, I told you that we can go over to the bullish scenario because so until then we've been tracking bearish, 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 and we've seen lower lows. So that was spot on. We then completed an impulse down here. I told you it could be that the low is in, but we don't have price confirmation yet. Yeah, because this move up could have been just a correction of an impulse down. So we would have seen another low and, and going down lower. And ideal target, really the ideal target would have been the 30 cent level. Uh, we didn't get there, you know, maybe we still will. I mean, if I say we are now flipping to the bullish scenario, it doesn't mean 100% guaranteed we are only going to go up from here. Um, it is getting more likely and there is a, a definite case now for the um, assumption that the low is in. Yeah, we can make a good case for it based on the Elliott Wave method, but it's, you know, there's never 100% confirmation. Yeah, and that, that will, until we get such a confirmation, it will take a while. But we can make assumptions. And uh, until here, we have tracked bearish. I didn't show you a bullish scenario. And when we then broke above 46 cents to invalidate the bearish pattern by going into the wave one range here, that, uh, yeah, made us switch to bullish. And I think that was spot on. Since then, to the peak there, we have now made, from the moment I told you that, we have now made around about 18% in a few days. That is not bad, yeah? Um, we have hit then the target here in a wave three and we can now assume that a wave four might be starting. So I'll give you, I'll give you here the, um, the target for that. Target for that would be, I mean, we've reached the minimum already, okay? We've reached the 23.6% FIP level at 52.4 cents. If we now reverse and break above the wave three high, then it's likely that we're gonna see the wave five and where we get to, I will let you know as well. But either now or at 50.8 or 49.6 cents, we should reverse to the upside. That would then be the scenario of a wave four. In my opinion, the most likely scenario. Because we've hit very nicely the wave three target area. So yeah, these are the key levels. Uh, most likely level would be 50.8 cents. That is also what I have to expect now primarily because it is for a wave four, just the ideal retracement level. So I have to primarily expect the move down to 50.8. Can also be 49.6, but if we go below that, it will just be very unlikely. It's still a wave four. From here then I would expect a move to the upside. Okay, from in terms of where would that wave five go. I give you the textbook target now. <laughs> oh, 
and we measure the one to the two, the Fibonacci extensions, textbook target would be 60.7 cents for a wave five. I'll mark that here. That would be ideal, well, textbook target, yeah? Anywhere above wave three would theoretically be fine. So we've got here the next resistance level at 50. What do we have? I think that is not relevant now. So yeah, we, we could go with 60 cents possibly, yeah? Okay, but if we go below, yeah, this 50% um, Fibonacci retracement level that I just showed you here, yeah, if we go below this, if we go below 49.6 cents, and I mark that on the chart now, then it's probably not a way for anymore. Then we would go with the alternative scenario, which is not bearish, short term it is, yeah, but uh, only short term. Uh, now that we've moved to the overall bullish scenario, yeah, any move down and, and unless, well, as long as it holds the 40.2 40 point, 40 point cent level, yeah, until then we can remain bullish because this is now a wave, uh, this could also be a wave one and a two down. So primarily we expect here that this was a one, a two, a three. We are now in the four. Yeah, should not go below 49.6. Otherwise we expect another stronger retracement. We would then have the scenario that the, we had a one, two, three, four, a short wave three that would be, that is why it's not my primary expectation. And the five, that this here was a five, this wave three, that this was a five completed a higher degree wave one and we are now coming down in a wave two. Okay, and that would mean we can retrace more and we'd be looking at prices here between ideally 47.7 to 45.9. That would be the ideal range for a wave two. can say here alternative wave two okay and um, however even here then we would expect a move to the upside either 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 um, above 49.6 uh, that was yeah or if we have to go lower ideally above 45.9 but this can then the wave two can retrace even more as long as it holds above 40.2 40.3 cents we can still see it as a wave two so in one scenario, we go up very soon again to finish off the wave five would then retrace stronger in a wave two or here in the alternative scenario, we go down now and will then move up much faster. Now, this will now depend on how much do we retrace. OK, that is what what that will mean. But um, yeah, in both scenarios, I do expect a little bit further downside um, in one scenario, a little bit more in one less and then a move up, okay? And uh, the target for that move up in the main scenario would be 60.7 cents. That can move a little bit, depends on how low wave four will go. And I'll keep you updated. Important uh, thing is here that we hit the target area perfectly. All right, so hopefully you liked the update about ADA. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.